Greetings. Welcome to another Hobo Technos Double Fisted bang, bang. Product Review. Today we have two products from the same company. One is the Rock Pals Portable Power Station, aka Solar, solar generator. generator. And the accompanying 60 watt Rock Pals solar panel used to charge it. Let's go check them out. So let's go over the features of this little guy. This is the Rock Pals 250 watt solar generator. It's 240 watt hour, uses lithium ion batteries. It's pretty small. It's 10 by four by six at five and a half pounds, so it's fairly lightweight. It has a 250 watt pure sine inverter. And I tested this and I'm gonna show you how I tested it to prove it actually is a pure sine inverter. What's unique about this one is it actually has two outlets on it. So you can see that you can plug in devices no matter what country you're in, you can use this for travel. Now it has three ways to charge. All three ways are from the same port. You can charge it from AC wall outlet, 12 volts, or solar. And it includes a 12 volt car charger and AC wall charger. Now the Rock Pals does accept any solar panel between 13.6 and 24 volts, and it's capped at four amps. So it can't charge any faster than 60 watts, no matter how much solar you pump into it. And it actually uses a very common 5.5 millimeter barrel plug. This is probably the most common barrel plug in existence. And devices have been using this barrel plug as long as I can remember. Now the DC output is on the other side and it outputs a maximum of five amps at 12 volts or 60 watts. And it includes a 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter, which I'll show you here in a moment. And back on the other side, it has two USB outlets that support 2.4 amp charging. Now the Rock Pals 250 will charge in about four hours from the wall outlet, about eight hours or so from 12 volts, and nine to 10 hours from the 60 watt solar panel. And that's assuming good clear skies. It's got a tough metal case, nice hard ABS plastic on the ends, a folding rubber handle. And I think they got the rubber handle and the chrome strips from the same company as that other solar generator I reviewed recently. It's got the same kind of folding handle. It's like it came out of the parts bin, but I like it. Now the solar panel is a 60 watt panel, monocrystalline, 18 volts. It folds out lengthwise like this. They claim 21 to 23% efficiency and it is water resistant. The material and the panels themselves are water resistant. They tell you, however, do not submerge it in water or get this inside wet because that is not water resistant, but that's why you have a folding zippered pouch on the back that holds all your cables. Now, what's really unique about the Rock Pals, and I haven't seen this really in too many other solar panel kits, is that it comes with all these adapters. And you can see these adapters range in everything from what you'd use for a Jackery all the way down to the smallest, probably like 2.4 millimeter sockets. So all these adapters come with it, which means you can use this on virtually any power station out there. That's pretty cool. It also comes with an MC4 adapter. So you can plug this directly into your solar system with MC4 adapters. No other adapters you need to buy. Everything comes with the Rock Pal 60 watt solar panel. It makes it super convenient. Now the folded size is 14 by 13 by two and a half. That's approximate and it's about five and a half pounds. Now it includes on the back side here, three USB ports. And we'll get a closer look at those in a moment. Two of them are regular USB 2.4 amp charging slots. And one is a QC3 five volt, nine volt quick charge slot that you can actually charge devices up to 22 watts. Now both the solar panel and the Rock Pal solar generator both carry a two year warranty from the manufacturer. But if you buy it on their website, and I'll tell you how to do that in a moment, you can actually get an additional year warranty, which makes this one of the industry leading warranties at three years. And of course, don't tell anyone, but I do have some discount codes coming up. So let's see what comes in the box. So. We're just gonna go ahead and throw that away. And we're only gonna care about what comes in this little white box. Let's take a closer look. So in the box, you get the 12 volt adapter that you can use to charge it in your vehicle. You get the 12 volt socket, which you plug into this and allows you to run 12 volt devices. And then you get the wall wart or the brick or however you wanna call these things. Power supply is basically what it is and the power supply runs at 15 volts, four amps. That's 60 watts. 
You also get the Rock Pals warranty car with their phone number on the back. And of course you get a user manual that's written in like 37 languages. Okay, it's really only written in English and Chinese, but you know. Okay, so here's what the user manual looks like. Gives you product description, specifications, tells you what the lights and all that mean, which you can't figure that out. Tells you how to hook it up to solar. Now for those of you that always ask me, is the battery removable or replaceable? It says right here, it is not. Do not attempt to remove the battery. Now that we went over some of the features of the Rock Pals 250, let's go over some of its quirks. First, they claim a pure sign inverter, which is pretty unique for this price point. I'm gonna verify this right now with my brand new toy and oscilloscope. Another unique quirk about this device is that it has an on-off switch. Now this on-off switch turns everything on or everything off. That means when you flip the switch, the AC inverter comes on and all the DC power comes on at the same time. When you shut the switch off, everything turns off. So I'm gonna show you now how you test and make sure that a pure sign inverter is actually a pure sign inverter, no question. So I have my oscilloscope on and I just put the positive and negative terminals in there. And there you go. That's what a pure sine wave looks like, in case you don't know. Now I got this cheap multimeter slash oscilloscope on Amazon. It was like 60, 70 bucks if you really care. I can add it to my Amazon page. But this is gonna be how I'm gonna test power stations from the future to know for sure if they're putting out the right power and if they're actually pure sign like this one is. As you can also see, it's putting out a pretty solid 115 volts. So another one of the quirks of this device is that it does not have a voltage regulated output. So as the battery discharges, the voltage coming out of the DC ports also drop. So if it's fully charged, it'll put out 12.6 volts. And if it's fully discharged, or about to be fully discharged, it'll drop as low as nine volts. Now, right now I have it at about 60% charge. You can see here, it's about 11.77 volts. Now, just because this doesn't regulate voltage doesn't mean it's useless. A lot of devices can handle that voltage range with no problem. And when you find out how little this costs compared to a Jackery, and it makes sense because this is a lower featured device and it's designed to be a lot less expensive. Now the DC charging voltage range for this is 13.6 volts to 24 volts. So while it'll charge from a running vehicle, it will not charge from a vehicle that is not running. So if you try to plug this into your cigarette lighter socket without the engine running, it's not gonna have the 13.6 volts it needs to charge this. Now, another quirk is that this device cannot be used at the same time as it's being charged. So while it's charging, you can't use it. And the only feedback you get on this device are these five LEDs, these five blue LEDs that tell you the state of charge from 20% to 100%. There's no screen, there's no other display. This is all the feedback you get. Now, another quirk is, I want to mention this now because I know a bunch of you are going to run to the Amazon page and you're going to complain about this. But on the Amazon page right now, it says that this has an MPPT controller built into it. That is not true. I contacted the company and made sure that was a mistake and they said, yes, it is. They're in the process of removing that from the web page. Now, it has been removed from their website. So if you actually go to the Rock Pals website, you will not see any mention of MPPT charging with this device. Again, this happens a lot where Amazon pages have incorrect information on products. I've seen this happen dozens of times. Always go to the company's website and verify what's on their product page instead of going by what it says on their Amazon page. Because a lot of times these sellers, they use third parties to make their Amazon page or they have somebody in marketing do their Amazon page where and the marketing people have no idea what the technical specs really are. So it's like the left hand not talking to the right hand. So just go by the website. So what do I like about the Rock Pals 250? Well, it's a really good size and shape and weight for the power output. This does have a 250 watt pure sine inverter, which is bigger than the Jackery. And this is actually a little bit of a smaller package than the Jackery 240, which is its direct competitor. I also like that this case is metal and it looks like this thing can be dropped and knocked around quite a bit before it took any damage. Unlike a lot of other portable power stations that look really delicate, this thing looks like it can really take a beating. Another thing I like are these dual AC outputs. You don't really see this too often in a smaller power station. Usually you only get one AC output and they're definitely not the international type outputs. So you could use this in any country. Uh, if you're in Canada, UK, Europe, Japan, China, you could plug this in anywhere. And with discounts, 
This thing is less expensive than a Jackery 240, but of course it doesn't have all the features of a Jackery 240. But the way this is designed, it seems like that this is really designed for AC power use over anything else because they do not include a USB-C or quick charging or anything in this. It doesn't have the 12 volt socket built in, doesn't have a flashlight. It's all about this AC power, I think. And that's why everything runs off this one switch. Now what also is cool is that you do have four 5.5 millimeter DC outputs here. So you can power lots of devices that use this common plug. Now let's talk about the RockPal 60 watt and what I like about this. Obviously my favorite feature is that it comes with all these adapters so that you can plug it into practically any power station in existence. I also like that this thing is water resistant. That's pretty rare too for a 60 watt panel. It's also really competitively priced much cheaper than a lot of competitors, including Jackery. And both RockPal's devices here come with a two-year warranty from the manufacturer. And like I mentioned earlier, if you buy this off their website, you can extend it to three years, which is industry leading. So what don't I like about the RockPal's 250? Well, first of all, is this readout. Okay, there it is turned off. There it is turned on. Can you tell the difference? I can't. You have to actually look at this thing in the dark to even tell if it's on or what state of charge it is. So one other thing I don't like is that this does not have a 12 volt socket built into the casing itself. You have to use this adapter and that's kind of a shame for something this size. You'd think they'd actually have the socket built in. And also one of the things I don't like is that the 12 volt outputs are limited to five amps. So you can only pull 60 watts from this. That's kind of low for something that's, that sports a 250 watt inverter. This is 2019, almost 2020. There's no USB-C or USB quick charge built into this device. And probably the biggest downside for me is that you can't use it while you're charging it. You have to charge it and then use it. So you can't do both at the same time. And as I mentioned before, this has a single on off switch. On powers everything, AC and DC, off turns it off completely. And when you charge it, you gotta turn the switch on to connect the battery. So it's basically a battery on off switch. Now what I don't like about the RockPal's 60 watt panel is that this sucker is actually pretty heavy. Compared to the Jackery 60 watt panel, this thing is like three or four times thick, probably twice as heavy, and definitely larger in size. I mean, this thing folded out. I can't even show you on camera it's like, it's huge, okay? <laughs> and you can't really aim it. That's one of the things I don't like about these kind of design panels. If you wanted to aim this, put this up on a table, you have to find a whole bunch of bricks or something to put behind it to have it up at an angle. Now it does have these eye hooks on both ends, but it means you're kind of limited to hanging this up on something like maybe the side of your vehicle or your tent or something like that. Now I do give them props that this is waterproof and that's a really big plus in my book. And I also give them props that it is really durable. I mean, this thing looks like that you could, like the Rock Piles 250 watt inverter, you could probably drag this thing through the jungle or the desert and get it scuffed up pretty bad and it'll probably work just fine. I will give them that. Now we'll show you some of the things you can do with the rock piles. We have, the, we have it plugged in right now to the Jackery 240. We've got the Jackery 240 charging at, with the wall outlet. So you can do things like charge a Jackery with it. You know, you can charge a typical laptops, tablets, cell phones, stuff like that, obviously. There's something you might not think of. You can actually use a battery charger. I've had many people ask me about devices that could do jump starting of vehicles. I am in the process of reviewing something like that right now. But what you can do is you can take any of these small power stations and use a off the shelf battery charger such as this to charge your vehicle in case of emergency. Say you break down the middle of like nowhere, you're camping out in the wilderness, there's nobody there that's gonna jump your vehicle. Well, just carry a battery charger with you in any one of these power stations and you'll be able to jump yourself. So while there's currently no sun, it's a very overcast day. In fact, we were supposed to get thunderstorms. I'm not gonna be able to do much charging with the panel, but I can show you how it hooks up. So as you can see inside, here is where the USB ports are and you get a red light that lets you know that power's coming in. So here's the output from the 60 watt panel. It's MC4 connectors and it goes to this barrel plug that gets plugged directly into the rock pals. Just like that, and you're charging. And when it's charging, you'll see the display lights, they'll stream this way 
towards 100 and show you that it's charging. Right now, it's at about 40, between 40 and 60% charge, so these two stay lit while the other three go across. And as mentioned before, this could be used with the Jackery. So here's the strip of adapters. You just find the one that's for the Jackery. Plug it in like that. Plug it in like that. You can see the display came on showing that the solar panel right now, even though there's pretty much no sun, is working. So here comes the best part about this combo. And this is a combo that you can buy together for a great price. Okay, so say you don't wanna buy the combo together, you just wanna get this or just that. Say you like the solar panel better or you like the Rock Pals 250 better. You can buy them separately or together. On Amazon, the codes will be in the description below along with the link to purchase. You can use the promo code 85S3U2K9. Yeah, that's a mouthful. I'll put that on screen and I'll also put it below in the description. It's 85S3U2K9. And don't ask me what it stands for. But that'll get you $32 off this plus they have a $12 off coupon already on Amazon. So you can get this alone for $170 and change. That's way cheaper than a Jackery 240. Then again, not as many features. Now for the 60 watt solar panel, you use the same code 85S3U2K9 to get $24 off and you can get this for $136 and change. That's cheap. Now here comes the real deal. You buy these two together in a combo using that same code on Amazon, you get it for $307 shipped to your door. Now that's both of these for $307. Now, if you go to the Rock Pals website, and I will link that below in the description, you can get this combo for $299. That's even cheaper than Amazon. If you go to the Rock Pals website, you get this 250 watt plus 60 watt combo for $2.99, use the code HOBOTECH at checkout. Now, that's only gonna work on the Rock Pals website. So Rock Pals website, the promo code is HOBOTECH. Get this for $2.99. If you prefer to buy on Amazon, you can get them on Amazon. It's $307 with that code 85S3U2K9. Now here's the benefit of buying on the Rock Pals website as opposed to Amazon. You can get an extended warranty for both of these and basically extend the warranty up to three years. So instead of the default factory two-year warranty, you get a three-year warranty, which is great. You can also get a 24-volt CPAP adapter, which allows you to turn 12 volts from this into 24 volts for a CPAP machine. So those are two things you can get on the Rock Pals website that you can't get on Amazon. So like I said before, the link and code to purchase these on both Amazon and Rock Pals is all in the description below, so just look below. If there are any last minute changes to codes or anything like that, I will pin a comment to this video so you can see any changes that I make. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber already, you know what to do. That's it for now, till next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. Hey Galaxy, what do you think of the rock piles? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she just stands back and puts her ears up. That was funny. Okay, I like that one. We can keep that. Hey, thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe, share, and like. And we'll see you guys next time. Say hi, Odin. Randall Furnine, Army Golf Guy, Joe Lazaro, Pat.